Thank you. Right now to the continuing fallout surrounding embattled EPA Chief Scott Pruitt. According to the Associated Press, Pruitt reportedly spent millions of dollars on travel and for a 20-member full-time security detail that is three times the size of his predecessor's part-time security contingent. This as the Wall Street Journal reports that Chief of Staff John Kelly told Trump last week that Pruitt needed to step down. And Pruitt now faces a long list of alleged ethics violations relating to his staff and housing arrangement as a growing list of members in Congress call for Pruitt to resign. For more on this, let's bring in Congressman Steve Cohen, Democrat from Tennessee. He's also a member on the House Ethics and Judiciary Committees. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. You wrote a letter demanding the removal of Pruitt from the EPA. Uh, you have at least 10 Democrats who have also signed that letter this week. You say that Pruitt is currently under three separate investigations. What are those? Well, he's uh, given two of his employees raises using an obscure part of the uh, law to give one employee a $50,000 raise and another $28,000 raise. Uh, he then denied that about it. But if you're the secretary, you ought to know the raises given to two of your top people, and you ought to be the one that determines that. He's also got the question about his living conditions in D.C. and the most unique living condition anybody in D.C. has. It's with a, a, a lobbyist or the, and or the wife of a lobbyist who gave him a $50 a day rental fee for a condo on Capitol Hill, but doesn't charge him on the days when he's not there. That is bizarre. You can't just leave your clothes and luggage and belongings and not be charged for that day and just decide to be ch charged for the days when you get yourself in bed and put your head on the pillow. There's a second bedroom in that condo that his daughter has occupied apparently at no rent, and nobody comes up about does he have the use of the kitchen, does he have the use of the living room. It's a, it's a not a, it's obviously in the way it was written, it's written for his benefit, not as a landlord would write it. And in that market, the landlord rules. It's an area of great demand for housing, and you sign a lease with the landlord for a time uh, of, of months or years, not for a day. So that's very unusual and, and ethically questionable. He didn't give the ethics people much notice of what he was engaging in. And then there's all the money he spent. The travel, first class travel everywhere he goes, Morocco, where he basically spent he spent forty thousand dollars to promote Oklahoma's gas industry, not to have anything to do with EPA. And then an Italian jaunt where he spent hundred and twenty thousand dollars. He and security and family, what a great time they had in Venice or Florence or wherever they went. Uh, they might have been up at uh, Co Lake Como where the really uh, hoity toities go. I mean he uses government money like it's somebody else's, not his own. And so far, we have three Republicans that have also called for Pruitt to step down. Um, how big of an ethical concern do you think that is for this in this case? I mean, we know that 10 Democrats have signed that letter, but now also three Republicans as well. And, it's, and Leader Pelosi has come out independently and called on him to, to resign. The fact is, I think this is even too much for the Trump administration. Uh, when, when Secretary Price got out of, out of line with all of his travel, uh, chartering airplanes, uh, which which Pruitt does as well. He charters airplanes and he used military to fly back to Oklahoma on many occasions that were po apparently political. This is too much for Trump. Price Price had to go uh, with his travel and, the, and and what he did, and and Pruitt needs to go. And I don't think that uh, the president will will put up with this any longer. And I I think if I were uh, uh, Mr. Pruitt, I would be happy I had a fifty dollar a night rate because he'd be liable for some additional. Uh, time on his lease if he had one for a period of time. And we know it's not just Pruitt, right? We have uh, Tom Price, Steve Mnuchin, uh, Ryan Zinke, Ben Carson. Uh, what do you have to say to the Trump administration about uh, their spending habits? Well, they're certainly good for the economy. They buy $30,000 dining room tables at HUD. They, 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 they have horses. They ride around like they're the, the Napoleon. And that's uh, some of the things going on. And they have more security than you can imagine. Uh, Pruitt with a $3,000, a $43,000 bill for a personal telephone cabinet or booth in his office so that nobody can listen to him. I don't know who wants to hear him. Maybe he's calling Stormy Daniels. Who knows what he's doing to have to have a $43,000 Maxwell Smart type uh, machine to keep his conversations private. And then he wanted to have a, a biometric uh, door panel for entry into his office and a $3,000 uh, no bid sweep of his office to see if he's being bugged. The man needs help. 
he, he doesn't know anything about the appearance of impropriety, and all federal employees are supposed to operate like Caesar's wife, beyond reproach and beyond the appearance of impropriety, this man reeks of it. All right, Congressman Steve Cohen, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Nice to be with you from Memphis, where we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's passing and renewed our commitment to the dream and to better, a better world with peace and love and justice. True words were never said.